Today's best music. Magic 89.9. Okay, there you go. So just for the sake of our audience, uh, Gretchen, uh, Gretchen Ho enters our magic chat room. We're, we're both on, on uh, the Magic 89.9 Facebook Live, and we're also on air, on radio. So uh, I have to remind the listeners every now and then who I'm talking to. And there's a reason why, uh-huh. Gretch. First of all, it's good to see you. Uh, uh, we, we, we have been planning to meet up, have lunch, see each other for years now and uh it has never happened uh for one reason or another it. yeah i know yeah, yeah. <laughs> um well schedules and all that uh that was obviously we had a little bit of a reunion with uh, our old show before with all our wonderful workmates from our production team our boss and all that it was a short reunion we had a few drinks but it was fun and that was it so I, one of the reasons why I wanted you here also in our chat room is the fact that as much as we um, work with each other, I have obviously covered you when you were playing volleyball and then you made the transition to uh, media, to TV. As much as we worked with each other and became co-hosts and did a lot of great episodes for Game Day Weekend, we also have not really been around each other ever since. And you are a com- oh, uh, you're a completely different person now. <laughs> I'm exactly the same, <laughs> which is not a good thing. And um, so this is the reason why. But we're two different individuals now from the time when we were working together. So I wanted wait, to. Wait, wait, catch I'm up. just curious. How well, different? How different am well, I now? Well, from back then. <laughs> well, first of all, first of all, let's establish the fact that Gretchen Ho here, as as much as she's. Uh, successful in in what she has become now she never wanted to be on tv she never wanted to do hosting remember that conversation (laughs) that we had let's go back to the start Gretchen how did you transition from volleyball and you are an incredibly popular volleyball player obviously for Ateneo to eventually getting into media because somehow uh so uh, just oh, to es- kasi, establish lang for our uh, listeners and, and our yun, viewers. I was, I was asked to host for Ateneo Open and then you were there. And then uh, I think that was, yeah, one of my, that, that was my first big hosting job. And this is internal lang, di ba? Within Ateneo lang to. Kasi sinabi mo sa akin na, oh, baka hindi mo subukan mag-host. I said, What? I can never imagine myself doing that. I said that to yes. you. Like, yes. never. <laughs> yes. And then, it was funny. It's like, kinain ko lahat ng sinabi ko sa'yo. Di naman. It's not the, that's not, I don't think that's the right term or phrase to use. But whenever I look at you and see what you've become, the phrase, never say never always uh, comes to mind. Kasi yun, actually yung joke, okay, ang kwento niyan, na imbitahan ako Jem Ferrer asked me to host uh, an internal thing sa inyo lang to this is not a public thing an Ateneo Open right and then you were doing it for the very first time to be to have a mic and host in front of the public pero Ateneo public yeah. and then I remember after we were done and it was a short program like an hour or something and we were done lilo kita Gretch mawawala kami ng trabaho sa'yo ha and that's why you said <laughs> I am never going to do this boom I'm never going to do this and as I don't want you looking at it as parang um, kinain ko yung sinabi ko. It's, it's just how, <laughs> it's how life works sometimes. Diba? Oh, oh, grabe. So how, I so mean, after like, that, ano nangyari? Go ahead. After that. After that, uh, I graduated from college and, and I got, uh, no, uh, an offer from a boss channel from Miss Jojo Estacio, right. our beloved boss from ABS-CBN Sports to host a sports show called Game Day Weekend with you and with Mia Cabalpin. Yes. Tapos hindi ako sure noon kung uh, kung uh, sasabak ako sa mundo ng media kasi I was supposed to go corporate. I remember also um, being so torn with my career path na hindi ko sure. As in, I, I was going for a job interview in Makati sa Discovery. Hindi what field? What field ito? Ito ang corporate. What field are we talking about? Marketing. Marketing okay, ako. Okay, marketing. Okay. So, ayun. Eh, sabi ko, sige, subukan ko nga. Mag-job interview lang ako. Eh, antagal ko nang di pumupunta ng Makati. 
Tapos nakalimutan ko na yung grabe ng traffic. So, malilate na ako. Ginawa ko, iniwan ko yung kotse ko sa, sa may Star Mall. Nag-commute ako. Okay. Papuntang Makati. Okay. Pagkating ko ng Makati, none of the taxis knew where the Discovery Building was. None of them. Mm-hmm. So, I was walking and walking and walking around Makati for one hour. And then, I decided, okay, baka this is not meant for me. I give up. Um, mm. I have a press call at 11 a.m. Mm. for the show, for mm. game day weekend. Mm. I, I can't be late to that. Mm-hmm. So, nag, ano, ako, nag-taxi ako, pupunta ABS-CBN, and that's when I decided. <laughs> okay. Baka yun yung sign sa akin ni Lord not to go corporate. <laughs> and before that... I mean, you were there. Yeah, and before there, that... Because, and I remember... Oh, sige, go ahead. No, no, before that, the, just to fill in the blanks, before the whole game day weekend show was even born... My my job for Miss Jojo was to convince you to go into TV at that time. Talaga? Exactly. Kaya nga ako yung naghatid <laughs> sa'yo. Na. Ako, naalala mo, akong sumundo sa'yo. Well, not ako, pero kasama natin ABS-CBN driver uh, and uh, sinundo kita, uh, magkasama tayo sa van. We went to the trade show together. That was your first time. Oh, yeah, we went to yeah, the trade yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Right? And I introduced you to everybody else. And you, uh, funny, kasi ang sinasabi mo noon, hindi nga ako nanonood ng TV boom eh. Wala akong kalam alam sa, you know. And I said, okay lang yan, pakilala kita and we'll see where, where it goes. This was before game day weekend. And so I, we, 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 and nung nag-uusap tayo on the trip to the trade show, you wanted to do marketing and social activism. Naalala ko yung conversation. I'm very, oh, you know, I remember stuff. Development Rich. work. Development work. Correct, correct. Galing so, mo naman. Yeah, so I remember so, all of these si things. Buma, isa sa mga, isa sa mga tumulong talaga sa akin. I won't forget that. Okay. And, uh, and yung, alam mo yun, yung, yung uh, belief when you are that young <laughs> and you feel so awkward about everything, it, it, it matters a lot. No, no, tagahatid so, lang ako. Thank you so much, Boom. Yeah, you're welcome. Tagatid lang ako. But that's how it is. And then eventually we had this wonderful run with Game Day Weekend. All right. Bago tayo magsimula, I, I did say, uh, well, nagsimula na tayo. But I mean, I, before we proceed, I did say that we were going to have some afternoon cocktails, which is what we're doing right now. Uh, the last time oh. we were together, we, were, we had a few drinks. Short but sweet. It was fun. But uh, we have a few drinks. Ano, what's the poison for uh, Gretchen Ho? What does she go to when she wants a drink? Okay, so ito, maririnig nyo. I'm shaking it right now. I'm not sure if you can hear it. But yup, this is my go-to. Uh, I learned this concoction from my mom. Did you? Really? Hi, it's tita. Called, it's called margarita. <laughs> Day mom ko kasi talaga, favorite drink niya to. So, she would invite me. Uh, uh, pag sa bahay, mag, uh, uminom lang kami ng konti, magkwentuhan. Ito yung bonding namin. Talaga? And eventually, I learned how to make it on my own. So gusto ko siya kasi light lang siya. Ladies drink. And uh, sakto-sakto lang yung tama. <laughs> Kaya sabi, sabi ko nga sa'yo, boom, di ba? Hindi, hindi ito yung gretsyon na nakilala ng mga tao. <laughs> exactly uh, why we you, have no? you. Exactly why we have you on the show. So, so okay. So that is the, the, the drink of choice. Um, when did you start tasting? Um... Uh, alcohol as as Slick Rick takes my alcohol here right now. <laughs> He's right behind me. Okay, when did you start? For me, I know it, it was really because you were an athlete. Kaya ako tinatanong to because you were an athlete. Yeah. A few days. Wait lang. Parang high school pero na kung natikman tikman. Pero talaga ako maino masado. And then before before my 18th birthday, my mom binad influence talaga niya ako. Sabi niya, sige na, subukan mo na Really? Yan. Okay. My mom pa talaga, oo. Sabi ko, ma, hindi pa ako 18, teka lang. Pero, wala, napainom niya ako. And, ito nakakatawa kasi when I was 18, I was in Boracay. I had, I had my de- uh, debut there. Tapos nalasing ako first time. Birthday oh, ko. that was my next question. Okay, go I ahead. Was, oh. I was so, oh my God, I was so drunk. And I was saying to everyone, drinking is bad, God is good. <laughs> As in, I wrote it on the sand. Drinking is bad, God is good. And then, I was telling everyone also, buti na lang na experience ko ng malasing para hindi ko na siya gagawin ulit. 
So was that the first okay. time you got you got technically plastered first drunk? First ever time, yeah. Okay. First, first time, and, first time. And I assume... I was legal. <laughs> right, 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 right. I assume <laughs> you were with people you trusted. For you with to do brother, that. With my brother, with my... Oh, yeah, friend. I know your brother. Yeah, my of course. My cousin and then my best friend. And yeah. We were, we were a wholesome group. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to the next one. Was there any time that you had, you know, a nice night, party night, and wala ka naalala, it got to that point na, you know. Meron, meron din. Meron, meron din, pero I always, I, ah, wait. <laughs> wait lang. Hindi ko ka dapat naalala, di ba? <laughs> no, but I mean, yeah, in retrospect, may nagkwento sa yo Gretz, alam mo ba, kagabi, ito nangyari sa'yo. Meron, sa meron, meron na several times. Pero hindi really? ako, I always get home. I always make sure I have somebody with me who will take care of me. To drive or you home. I'm with, I'm with a group of people I trust. Like, for example, with my teammates, nag, kumari, may team building kami, right. tapos nag-inuman kami. Tapos, naalala ko, sinabi ko, kasi diba, no first year namin, hindi kami nanalo. I mean, hindi kami nakapasok sa top four. Mm. In volleyball, eh, yeah. Oo, oh, tapos sinasabi ng coach namin, okay lang yan, kahit hindi kayo makapasok ng top four kasi bago pa lang kayo, rookies pa lang kayo. Nung nalasing ako sa team building, sabi ko, Coach, wala kang tiwala sa amin. <laughs> I said that to him and, and parang hindi niya makalimutan. Coach, niya makalimutan si Coach, ito. we're talking about Coach Roger Goreyev? Okay, okay. Oo, oo. oo. Kasi oh, nga, sabi ko, bakit hindi bakit ka nagkitiwala na kaya namin makapasok ng Final Four kahit rookies lang kami? So I was, I was super frustrated. With that, but looking back, no, parang she, he was just being realistic with the whole Ateneo program. Right. Na it para, takes time. Para walang it. pressure. <laughs> oh. Para walang pressure. Okay, we're talking for those Fun listening time. on on radio. We're talking to Gretchen Ho, woman in action. Now it's good that you talk about this, Gretchen, because we see another side of you, a side of you that. I mean, we don't see on social media. You don't really don't talk about these things on TV for whatever reason. Uh, but it kind of makes you a little more relatable in the sense that maraming, syempre, maraming nag-idolize sa'yo. Maraming gustong sumunod sa yapak mo. Uh, and whether it's in terms of hosting or media or even your volleyball days. But you also are projecting the fact na you, you like having fun. And... Uh, you're okay with balance, correct? Is that a correct I statement? I think that, that people don't know the side of me because actually, I don't know because I'm very focused on work when it comes to what I post on social media. Right. I'm purposive. I'm a workaholic, to be honest. But I have learned throughout the years that it's important to have fun and, and to balance because... Um, parang sabi ko eh, bababaliw ka talaga kung puro trabaho ka lang. Kailangan mag-loosen up ka. Uh, it's something that I learned through time. I think I was more serious before when I was in college. But now, parang I had the different perception of fun. Eh, kasi akala ko masama o ano. Pero hindi. It, it, it's, it's just, you know, enjoying life uh, mm -hmm. as it is. You have to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You have to enjoy your time with friends. You have to, alam mo yun, um, just, just be in the moment. Mm -hmm. Huwag masyadong sobrang seryoso sa lahat. Kasi pag sineryoso mo lahat ng bagay, it weighs down on you eh. Kaya tulad na naman ng itong crisis na to. I mean, it's, it's a serious thing. We all know that, di ba? We all know it's not easy. It's difficult for a lot of people. Especially those who are listening to us commuting. Mahirap talaga. Mm -hmm. Pero ano, ano ba yung magpapagaan sa buhay natin? For me, um, laughing, laughing things often, finding humor in, in small things. Having a drink diba? every now and then. Oh, mabigat na yung buhay. Huwag na natin dagdagan pa. <laughs> and uh, madami na ako pinagdaanan to get to this point. Uy! <laughs> uy! So I didn't, uy, uy. I didn't bring it up. Uh, you did. We're talking to Gretchen Ho. For those watching uh, on our Magic 89.9 <laughs> Facebook Live page and of course on radio. Uh, like what? Sige nga. Uh, mo sa amin, uh, while we take a sip from whatever afternoon cocktail oh we're having, she's having a 
She's, she's having a margarita. Hindi lang. Bigyan mo lang kami ng example ng like what? Anong mga sabi mo medyo mga pinagdaanan mo to get to this point and your your journey is not over yet. So. Fine, fine, fine. Sam YG, right behind me. Gretch. Says hi. Oh my God, Sam YG. I miss you. I miss you. Having a drink with us too. Naingit ako sa post mo. Couple posts. Stay safe. Stay away from boo. Stay away from me. One meter distance. Okay, teka. Don't, don't, don't. Oh yeah, game, game. Eh, you, you know, stuff that you're comfortable to talk about. Yeah, adversity. Like because there are expectations of you, Gretchen. Obviously, from volleyball, media, woman in action, athlete. Very good image. Very positive image. Akala ng mga tao puro positive pero ano talagang matibay lang ako. I mean, I have failed a lot in my life. Okay. I have lost. I have lost a lot of games. I have lost a lot of battles. Let's talk about one or two battles. Alala ko na. A game. No, no one. No one. No, nasaat ka na yung days pa ako. Sobrang I would take it hard upon myself when we would lose games and kung wari masama yung laro ko. Talagang nafa-frustrate ako. Like, I'd get depressed. I'd get For sure, like, yeah. mentally, mentally affected. Because we were on TV. Like, it was magnified. Yung mga mali namin, kinikriticize kami, binibigyan kami ng, ano, uh, ng magnifying glass dun sa mga mali namin. Everything, <laughs> yeah, is times everything 100. Everything talaga, yes. everything. And we were the first, I mean, in, in the volleyball batch, di ba? We were... Parang at the the top of it back then. Oh, parang sumabog during the time. Oh, di ba? Your battles with Lasal, correct? We didn't know how to deal with it, like psychologically, so it affected me. And then I learned the secret to it. I learned the secret to dealing with failure. And you're talking about failure in sports and in your career, or in your which is what? Sige, can you share with people who are listening right now what is Gretchen Ho's secret? When failure and adversity <laughs> hits, um, the secret, the secret to uh, overcoming failure is mm. to just laugh it off. Okay. Uh, I say that because I remember distinctly when I was training, I see Eliza Valdez training with her. Sabi ko, "Tung si Eliza Valdez na pa Pero bakit parang nakakamali din naman siya? Tao din naman siya. Pero bakit iba yung reception niya sa mali niya sa reception ko sa mali ko? I think doon nagkakaiba. Parang, pag nagkakamali si Eliza, she would just like laugh it off, get up, bawe. Mm-hmm. Parang hindi niya dinidibdib. Hindi niya dinidibdib yung mga mali niya. Uh, yung alam mo yun, you learn from it. You realize you're human. You how does, acknowledge that. Okay, how does that trend... How does that translate to, let's say, your career or your personal life? Because there has to be some sort of struggle, adversity, <laughs> pain in in your career madami, also. Madami, madami. Diba? But, but na ako kita mo the way you say it, yun nga loaded eh. I, and I'm not trying to dig in, Gretchen. Hindi, hindi I, alam ng mga tao yung mga pagdadaan ko kasi I don't talk about my problems. I only talk about overcoming problems. May it be sa love life. Alam niyo naman lahat yun, di ba? Oh, Pinagdaran ko doon. Uh, hindi ko alam yan. Never, uh, sa family. Sa, sa tagal natin magkakilala, uh, Gretz, never kita tinanong. <laughs> Did I ever ask well, you? Did I ever okay, ask you? The hardest, part, the hardest part of that breakup was having to face it and have the public see your heartbreak in front of them and have to wake up to the morning show and, and show a smile to everyone. That was the hardest part. And, And seeing also the news, your news, your step in the news, your, yung yung broken heart mo in the news, as sakit grabe. Until now, I I I still remember how painful was to get up. Malala ko pa no, parang may switch ko nune. May 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 makeup kit kasi ako sa umaga sa umagang kay ganda. Pero na kung ano eh, pagka Bawal kasi malungkot sa morning show. Kailangan tayo ka masaya. Of course. So may so. countdown ako. Okay, sabihin ko. 3, 2, 1. Ngiti. <laughs> Ganun ako sa morning noon. Kasi hindi, kailangan talaga, kailangan, we have to be happy for our viewers. We mm-hmm. have to give them joy. We have to infect them. But 
to do that, you have to be good as well. And it really helped me to have people around me who were willing to listen and to guide me through the experience. Uh, kakuntuhan ko yung mga kasama ko, talagang tinulungan nila ako to get over that hump. Pero yun nga, gaya na sabi ko, alam mo yun, parang hindi natin, we can never escape heartbreak and failure. It's, it's part of life. Of course. Ups, downs, we will win, we will lose. That's what an athlete knows. You're, you're never gonna win all the time. Mm-hmm. You also lose sometimes. Mm-hmm. Hopefully not all the time. You will have those. And you just have to learn how to shrug it off. Uh, take the lesson. Tawanan mo sarili mo kasi tao ka lang. Tao ka lang like everybody else. And then learn. Do better next time. If you, you know, if you're struggling, if you're having a hard time, okay lang yan. Basta you're trying. And in ako, um, day by day, day by day, day by day, I got better. So, how long did the uh, process take for you, uh, without being, <laughs> without you know details or anything? I mean, in general, how long did the process uh, take for you to? Yeah, getting getting over, moving on, getting you know your one mind. Year. One year. Was that it a year, year really? One year. One year. Funny, we've so, never. Na na. Yeah, so, right. na na five years coming together. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> uh, they they can of course you know surmise whoever we're talking about. We don't need to get into that. We don't need to get into that. But hey, Gretch, I never asked you about that question. You know, you and I have known since you started in this business, um, um, and even in our times that we were together, even the last time when we were drinking and having fun with every. I never asked you that because I always respected your your personal Thank you. life because Thank you. Thank I can you. just only imagine the kind of attention that you know that these things for you guys you know people like you everybody has this impression that you're all put together she's got it all figured out and rightfully so i i mean i'm not saying it's it's a bad thing but it's also when to to hear this story from you and to hear an actual um struggle that you had to get through uh, is uh, is refreshing actually, if I may say, as your friend and as a as, as just somebody. Pakiramdam ko nung time na yon, I had all my guards down already. Parang mm-hmm. feeling ko na humble din ako na experience nyan. In a way, yah, parang mas yung relatable yung relatability part na yon. Nakuha ko na imbibe ko din kasi parang ewo ko. I I just felt yung when you're on the ground, you you just we don't have anything anymore. Mm. Parang ganun yung pakiramdam eh. Mm. Um, yung, you, you, when you're humble, when you're really humble, it's it's uh, so refreshing because you have nothing to lose and you have you, you don't even care to, to have it all together. Mm. Nowhere, to, nowhere to go but up. Like, okay lang ako magkamali kasi tao lang ako. Parang alam mo yun, yan. I, fe- I, I felt like it, it opened another side of me also. Uh, okay, basta hindi ko ma-explain. Basta yun. Yeah, okay lang. You don't have to be detailed. Cheers mo na. Cheers mo na, Gretch. Cheers, cheers mo na. Cheers mo na. Yeah. Cheers. Let's take cheers a swig. Cheers sa ating mga viewers. Cheers. Na Sam, na Sam's here. Oh, cheers, okay. cheers, cheers. Oh Sam, my God. Sam, Sam's here. Sobra love ko ito si Sam YG. Mm. Lagi kami nagkakausap sa mga hosts. Nakita ko nagbabike siya sa NCS. Oo nga eh. We'll talk oh. about that. We'll talk about that in a bit. I want to ask though, uh, Gretch, um, is it hard since we're talking about it and we're done with that? But is it hard to maintain relationships, friendships, even not even just a relationship, but friendships? Have you lost friends in the process of you coming up the ladder in the world of media, TV hosting, whatever it is that you want to call it? Mm-hmm. Have you lost friends? Uh, whether it's I uh, have, I have. Really? Uh, talk about that, uh, or uh, yeah, um, <laughs> bucket. I have. What do you think? Um, ano nga ba? There are when when you're climbing up the ladder, quote unquote, people expect more more from you, more of you, and sometimes I make decisions that not everybody can understand. Mm. Parang may iba kasi akong goal or may iba akong hinahanap dun sa sitwasyon na hindi naiintindihan ng mga kasama ko, hindi naiintindihan ng mga kaibigan ko, then they don't agree with me. And for me, if they don't ask me my opinion or my side, 
or if they just plainly disagree with me without talking to me, mm. so then they're not true friends, di ba? Mm. So, nalaman ko na din kung sino yung mga tunay na kaibigan ko. Mm-hmm. But, ang ano ko lang dyan, ang moto ko lang dyan, is ako mismo, kahit ano yung trato ng iba sa akin, I'll be a true friend. Um, alam, hindi ako nag expect masyado sa... O, kung ganun na talaga ako, I expect the... I don't expect anything from anybody. I expect the best from myself. Mm-hmm. That's the only thing I can control. Eh. Mm-hmm. Meron ako sense of detachment in that way. I was saying na uh, I've learned through time that you are really going to lose some people mm. along the way if you learn how to stand for what you believe in. And uh, sa akin lang, no, as long as I can sleep at night, it doesn't matter. Parang, I, I, and I'm loyal to my friends. Mm-hmm. I'm loyal to people. And yun siguro, no? Yun ang pin- ano. But, but you, you, ganun talaga eh. That's life eh. You, you, some people come and go. What, um, has your, has your circle shrunk since you have? No. Okay. What? They've expanded? No, like, I mean, when I say your circle, sorry. Okay. I'm talking about your tight circle. You know, Lumit ba siya or uh, or nag expand? So nag expand ba yung ano mo circle mo? Ganun ba nangyari? I mean, it, the, hindi siya nag shrink. You didn't choose, you know, the people, uh, the, the the circle that you you uh, in terms of your friends, okay, like real friends. Uh, did you like shave off <laughs> some of the other non friends? Do actually do mami do mami pa yung friends. So okay. I think because. When you are in the media and showbiz industry, you meet a lot of people, a lot of great people. Mm-hmm. Um, Agree. Oh, kasi guro ano naturally uh, curious ako as a person. I talk to everybody. I talk. I talk about their passions, their interests, and throughout that time, I've gained a lot of friends. Um, and I've 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 uh, come to learn that life is. Is just like you know, parang ano eh, connecting bridges mm-hmm. in a way, mm-hmm. connecting people to each other. Uh, nakakagulat no kasi yung iba akalain nila mawawalan kina ng kaibigan pero ako nadagdagan dahil I share a lot of passions with different people and I try to help them as much as I can and they also do the same for me and we you know. Uh, try to make life better for for each and everyone. Yun yung maganda siguro ngayon na uh, collaborative yung mga tao. That's the good no, point. That's yeah. The culture now. Right. When it comes to sports, entertainment, social media, lahat ng tao talaga. I mean, it helps to ano it network. It helps to have friends. Na shave off lang siguro yung mga hindi tunay na kaibigan. Mm-hmm. Oh, yun lang naman pero mas madaming nadagdag. Okay. That's good. Uh, did you ever wanted to quit? Did you ever wanted to uh, to quit media um, hosting? Did it ever get to a point we're talking to Gretchen Ho for those of you just tuned in right here on the radio if you're on the road or at home. Uh, was there ever a point you was there a low point at all in your career regardless of whether they're, you know, a personal problem or relationship you just from a career standpoint or a media standpoint you say to yourself this is not this is this isn't what it's all cracked up to be uh did you um, ever get to that I point think around two years two years into it i was telling really? myself okay if Boy, pa may show natin to... on? <laughs> no, that's, oh, really yun, 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 so it was around that on. i am sorry gretchen if i made it a horrible <laughs> experience for you oh, <laughs> Pero kasi bago pa lang ako noon. Okay, okay. And Game. hindi ko alam how to go about things. Okay, kwento. So, Sige. sabi ko, if hindi mag-take off yung career ko for after two years, una one year eh. Tapos susunod two years. Mm. Uh, sabi ko, I'm gonna do corporate or public service, government work. Eh, ano, um, I think God really wanted me to be here. The hardest part would be always thinking about what to do next because I feel like mm, as a media okay. personality, hindi ako yung type na nagaantay kasi ng iuutos sa akin or hindi ako yung type na nagaantay ng project. Proactive ako yung ka. Type na if there's nothing that's happening, I will make things happen. Okay. So, 
it, it's the whole process of I've learned and I, I, I've come to love media because I feel like it's a space where you can create who you want to be. Um, hindi lang media. Ngayon, actually, lahat, everybody has that chance. Mm-hmm. Dahil may social media na. Right. You, you, you get the chance to create who you want to be, what kind of career you want to do. And because there are so many things or so many options, ang hirap hanapin kung alin doon yung tamang daan, yung tamang path. Mm-hmm. Tingin ko yun yung ano eh, parang yung pressure of, of, of staying relevant, yung pressure of... Ah, that's a good point. Oh, staying relevant, mm. yung pressure of always being being up to date, being on people's minds, lahat yun. May kasama yun. Competitive kasi ako talaga eh. I know. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. We've done wow. a lot of like, I mean, from a sports standpoint, I say that. Dahil that comes, that mga, comes in handy. Right, that trait comes in handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero ma-apply mo siya sa, sa tunay na buhay. So, competitive ako sa media in a sense na I don't want to rest, rest easy. And ako yung type na I will just, you know, make things happen. For right. me, siguro kaya ako na ano, kaya ako na gawa yung, ano, yung uh, woman in action. That's why I thought of that. Right. To, to brand myself and, and I launched it as a brand also. Correct. I have a website. I'm writing now. I was going to get to that, yeah. I'm constantly evolving as a personality. Right. Uh, not just, you know, not just for me. It's not just about me. It's about my purpose here. It's about what I want to do with my work, the impact that I want to create on people, people's lives. Um, I think that weighs more, mm-hmm. no? that fuels my competitiveness na like ngayon sa covid ang bilis kasi ang bilis kasi na sabihin na limitado ka ngayon mm. pero pakiramdam ko kasi ito yung time ko na na kailangan ako to step up mm. even more because people are in need more in terms in times of crisis mm-hmm. so it's it's that sense of purpose and calling i think that motivates me uh, two things that I want to say. First of all, I know the competitive nature of Gretchen Ho, for those who are just tuned in. And I say that not uh, uh, in any any negative way because in our show back in the day, we used to compete, right? The three of us, me, Mia, your, that was part of the show. Part of the show that we did, the magazine show that we did was it was also we were showing people how to do things but in the process we were competing against each other friendly competition we never got into each other's throats or anything like that uh but it was a friendly competition and uh you know uh that was fun so i know how competitive gretchen she doesn't want to lose and i love that about you but the second point i wanted to make i love the the point that you made and brought up this whole relevant thing and branding thing because I want to ask you, how do you balance that? There are people who are trying to stay relevant just for the sake of, um, and sometimes it isn't authentic anymore. Uh, mm-hmm. And then there, uh, there are people who, you know, this is what they do. This is what they are. And that's the reason why I wanted to go back to how you started in that conversation in the van that we were in back in the day when I was bringing you to the abs event trade show when you were not on TV yet. Because from then, I already knew that you wanted to be socially active. You wanted to be part of all of those things. So to me, it's not strange to hear you talk about these things because I heard that when, 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 just fresh off of your college uh, volleyball stint. So how do you balance though staying relevant but not you know being non-authentic to uh, your audience especially in a time of a pandemic where people are trying sometimes too hard to stay relevant um thinking ko you have to know your why's it's important to know why you're in this industry why you're doing things um is it just because you want to be popular? Is it just because you want to make money? Is it just because you want to be famous? Para sa akin, you have to constantly discern that. Uh, and, and and it's not it's not a one time thing. Huh? It's an everyday thing. Lahat ng decisions mo, you have to think about it. If, if I'm doing this, if it's according or aligned to my wise mm-hmm. in life. So para sa akin, I, ano eh, um, 
ayoko na para sa akin lang yung ginagawa ko. Hindi, parang uh, for me, ang babaw. I mean, I'm okay. Um, it's good to provide for your family. It's good to provide for yourself. Basic yun eh. Uunahin mo talaga sarili mo kasi hindi ka makakatulong sa iba kung hindi ka okay. Correct. Pero beyond that, beyond providing, ano ba yung gusto mo pang impact mm-hmm. sa na, na ginagawa ng work mo? Like mm-hmm. what, like your work itself, what is the value of that? So sa akin, you know, um, if you notice, the things that I've been doing aren't necessarily the easy things to do or like the popular things to do. And when I say that, I mean like writing. Writing is not easy. Not oh, not at all. Does not at all, yeah. Not diba? everybody can do it. Not everybody can do it. Even if you're a good speaker, even if you're yeah. fluent, articulate, writing is a totally different story. It's a totally different art form. Bakit ko nga ba ginagawa? Minsan natatanong, tinatanong ko ng sarili ko eh. Pero kasi, I'm motivated by the people that I get to help along the way and the stories that I get to tell and the people that I empower. And that's what keeps me going to that chair and writing and, nice. and suffocating the whole weekend. Ang hirap talaga, sobrang hirap minsan na nagkaka-writer's block ako. Mm-hmm. Uh, pati nga yung, ano, yung, uh, yung ride ko sa EDSA, di ba nagbisikleta ako? The other day, ako, nagbisikleta ka, di ba? Oh. Ha- Gano'n oh. kahaba yun? Uh, yung so, tinahak mo sa EDSA? Yeah, kaya ako ginawa yun. For TV Patrol and my my website, uh, 40 kilometers. 40 kilometers? UC- I did, that. To to I did that. I, I did that. I did, not to insert myself here, but I did Quezon City to Pasay <laughs> before. Quezon City to Pasay. So I, I know where you're coming from. Ghostman. Uh, <laughs> Mainit. Mainit. But yeah, you were saying you did a story for that. The reason why you did that was? Doing a story on it for World Bicycle Day, which uh, oh, is nice. on Wednesday. June 3, and I wanted to um, feel the the experience of a normal commuter. So, para sa akin, para maikwento ko ng tama yun, mm-hmm. kailangan ma-experience ko yun. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko siya pwedeng isipin lang. Ganun ako, kaya siguro ko bumuman in action. Uh, I like getting into the whole experience and being able to tell it from other people's point of view. So, ano ba experience ko si Edsa? Siguro preview lang, no? Okay, um, anytime, anytime pakiramdam ko, pwede ako mamatay. <laughs> Hindi ako nagbibiro. Kasi Fair enough, sobrang yes, of course. Sobrang bilis naman sa sakyan. Sobrang bilis ng mga kotse. Lalo na kahapon, when you don't have a lot of cars on the road, people tend to drive faster. So, and, and I, I understand now why we need bike lanes. Kasi, um, Sabi ko nga, nung nasa sasakyan ako, iniisip ko lang na bakit hindi yung mga nagbibisikleta, why don't they go to the side streets? Eh, easier naman for them. Mm-hmm. Pero kung iisipin mo, 20% lang sa household sa Metro Manila may kotse. 80%, you know, they, they commute, they go through all of this uh, mass transportation. Why do, th- why do they have less of the roads? ba so, parang it's also an issue of equality and social justice din pala. It's a deeper... Kahit hindi ko malalaman. Yeah, it's a deeper... Hindi ko malalaman yun kung nakasakay lang ako sa kotse. Right. It's a deeper problem. I see you're munching on chips. Are you still having a drink, Gretchen? Are you still having a drink with us? Slicks with me here behind. Are you still having a drink? Are you still having your margarita, your afternoon I'm cocktail? I'm eating. Okay, never mind. It's okay. Um, I'll get my drink. No, go ahead. I wanted to get to something. Um, we're talking to Gretchen Hull. For those who are listening on radio, Magic 89.9. My name is Boom. This is uh, also on our Facebook page on Magic 89.9. Uh, we welcome Gretchen here into the chat room. Slick is here. Sam is here. Tony Tony, Gino, uh, the Love Survivor. They're all behind us here uh, inside the office. But, okay, Gretchen, quickly. You touch. Can you hear me well? Wow. Change position. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Now you we we talked about your career. We talked about you know uh, relationships and friendships and you know uh, all the other challenges. Is it hard, as your life is played in public, most of the time? And I'm sure there are a lot of things that you want to keep private, and I understand that obviously. But is it hard to find, not find, 
to stumble on a relationship when <laughs> when you're when you're in the public eye without again without details without specifics I have not asked what you're up to right now or whether there's anybody or anything like that but in the years that you've been doing this uh, we already know the the answer to the question of you know uh, the, the heartbreak that you went through and how long moving forward after that did it disillusion you na, oh, boy this business is not going to allow me to to be personal with with someone be private and you know to have a relationship with someone uh, tell me your thoughts on that if you may whatever you can tell us that's also Pwede advice ba, ano? Pwede mo bigyan mo na lang ako ng advice boom oh please please <laughs> that's the game ay uh, sige bigyan mo ako ng advice paano ba okay i'm i'm a i'm a young adult now we met when i was a baby that's what you said what's your advice for me that's what you ah oh, you're asking advice for me yeah. Oh, okay. I remember we talked about. Okay, let me just say this. I remember we talked about this briefly uh, when we were together during the during uh, the reunion that we had with our game day weekend gang, whom we love so much. And if they're listening right now and watching us, hello to everybody. We love you guys and we miss you guys. Um, and I remember saying, um, I've always been. Well, I've been working on, on, on TV, radio, let's say radio, for a very long time since I was in college. Uh, I've been working and I've been a sportscaster for almost a couple of decades already. No, a couple of decades already. So, but that, that's as much as my public persona. The rest, I just really want to... Yeah, like when I got married, I... I we announced it on the day that we got married, after we got married. You know what I mean? Uh, why, why? Why did you keep it private? Because that's what, first of all, that's what me and my wife wanted. It really was uh, a uh, decision for both of us. It wasn't just me. No, or but why just, did you want it private? Because the wedding itself was private. We only had, I think, 45 guests. Uh, we didn't want to make a big deal out of it. And the reason why, and this is, okay, let me clarify the statement. We have no, we have the utmost respect for everybody who want uh, big weddings. We love attending weddings, actually. Even me and my wife together, we love attending weddings. Um, but having our own wedding, this is what we preferred. We didn't want to make a big deal out of it to anybody else except our close-knit friends and family. And we were happy about that. We didn't feel any outside pressure, Gretsch, uh, of announcing or making prenuptial stuff or whatever. But having said that, I'll say again that we respect and love everybody who does that in the business. But here's my counterpoint, Gretsch. Nobody cares about me. People care about you. You know? I mean, th this is... You're, the comparison is very different. Uh... You're a big celebrity. You're, you know, you, you've, you're doing all of these major primetime shows. Um, and you've, you've put yourself out there. So the pressure on you is tougher, I would think. Am I correct to say that? To protect <laughs> your private life is tougher. And in effect, is it tougher to look for real relationships in this business for you? Well, I think so. It's a lot tougher. Why? What makes it tougher? You can't think, I mean, oh, ko siguro hindi ko na ko personality ko lang talaga yun, but it's it's not my personality to to date around. Uh okay. Parang una iniisip ko na kaagad kung magugustuhan ng magulang ko. Mm. Because yun nga may pressure eh. like if I get involved in uh, with someone in any way mm -hmm. uh, you know people are gonna talk about it people right. are gonna say something so uh you always have to make sure it's worth it in a way uh because you can't avoid it the attention will be there in case okay, it happens no one, oh, thing, Go. one thing with my my previous relationship was private but i think Naging public din siya towards the end. Uh, May mga hindi kayo na-control. Oh, after nun, na-realize na ko na ma ma mas maganda na 
private na lang kasi it affects the relationship. I never thought it would. Like, mm. Akala ko noon, naiba ko noon eh. Like, I, I thought that uh. we would be insulated from that pressure. But it does affect you to some extent. Mm. So, to protect anything that um, you want to grow or you want to happen, parang tingin ko mas magandang private kasi... Uh, most of our lives are in public already. That's what I was saying diba? earlier. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Tsaka ako din, no? Um, siguro, parang, I feel, sometimes feel uncomfortable, like, like, being seen for my love life. Like, I want people, when, when they talk about me, sana yung work ko na lang. Right. Alam mo yun? Okay, so let's yes, stop this conversation. Fair, to be fair to all the work that I do. <laughs> So, ha? itigil na natin itong usapan na ito. <laughs> oh, so yun. yun okay, yeah, yeah. Yun ang ibig sabihin. Yeah. De, de, I mean, okay na naman, pero... Because there um, are... No, no, okay, be Gretch, let also. me just stop you real quick. The reason why I ask this without specifics, I'm asking you again without specifics, is mm-hmm. because there are people who look up to you. And there are people <laughs> who want to follow your path, idolize you and all that. And part of idolizing, looking up to people, is learning from whether they're mistakes... Whether you know what I mean, they learn it from an earlier age. Uh, uh, like I've done, a, I've made a lot of mistakes on radio and TV and sports casting, and and hopefully people who have come up, you know, bef- uh, now in the last let's say what ten years, have learned from a lot of the mistakes that I've made, regardless of whether I'm trying to teach it intentionally or not. So that's the reason why I'm also asking, you know, also to let people. I'm trying not trying to be controversial here, Gretz. You know, I'm never like that with okay, you. Lang. But I want people to know that it's not what it's you know what it seems to be also in in reality oh, people think kasi no parang ano when they see actually ito yung siguro yung i-correct ko lang when you see a piece of news don't believe it right away right away that's a good other, advice other people lalo na chismis other people give a uh, different slants to it right like Parang hindi naman nila alam talaga yung buong kwento, pero ito yung lumabas sa balita. So ngayon, ganun na yung iniisip nila. Um, you only get like half of the picture. Right, right. Or not even right. half. So, yun. Um, Nobody knows really until uh, they ask you. Yeah. Oh, oh. There are a lot of assumptions yun, yun out there. Yeah. Okay. Sige. Let's, do- let's drop that. Let's drop that. Okay. We're done. We know that there are a lot of assumptions about people, artistas, hosts, whatever, personalities. And that's just the way it is. That's also the life that you live in or, okay, include us in terms of the media. And that's just how it is. There will be assumptions about us and that's fine um, as long as our family and friends know the truth. Now, you guys are doing something really relevant in the next few days, Gretsch, uh, especially for our volleyball um, followers, our volleyball fans, and uh, people who work around the sport whom you and I know very well and love very well. Um, you guys are trying to raise funds and raise money for them. Let's talk about that, uh, Gretsch, please. Um, so we came up with a variety show uh, with Volleyball Community Games Back where different volleyball players will be performing and uh, there will be several se- oh, no. segments also on okay. that show. With several the- segments, yeah. Our- Linesmen, officials are quick. Uh, alam naman natin na wala silang, oh, wala silang work ngayon. Correct. It's, it's difficult. It's a difficult time um, for, for people in sports dahil walang games. Even athletes are forced to you know, move schools and Correct. move teams. Uh, so we wanted to support them. We wanted to give them something back in this tough time. So uh, ito yung second phase namin, yung first phase namin. Right. was um, care for all. Nag, uh, nag-ask din kami for fundraisers um, nag, for donations from people. And naka-collect na kami. This is just to sustain that. Right. Kasi habang tumatagal yung crisis, hindi rin naman nata- natatapos yung uh, paghihirap nila. So, um, if you want to watch that, please do follow our uh, Twitter, Facebook accounts at Volleyball Community Gives Back and all the details are there. Pinaplansa pa namin yan, pero it's gonna be in partnership with ABS-CBN Sports. It's gonna be broadcast 
live on ABS CBN Sports. Right. Uh, yeah. I saw the, the the videos that you've been circulating with, of course, our good friends Amanda, uh, Genueva, Amy Ahumiro, uh, Chara Soriano, and everybody else. Uh, as always, you guys are doing such great work. And that includes the people that I have not mentioned who are doing their own work, by the way. Uh, para lang in- ako sa mga, ano, sa mga athletes ngayon, yeah. sobra silang active right. in helping. Right. I mean, like, kahit anong sport, ha, uh, sa fundraisers. And, and if you really think about it, nakanganib din naman yung livelihood ng mga athletes. Pero, athletes uh, and everybody who covers sports. Yeah, athletes and everybody oh. who covers sports. You know, press, diba, media, everybody else. So, uh, and we're all praying that it, it ends soon. Before I let you uh, let you go, Gretch, let's let's uh, quickly talk about your website also. Um, so now you've moved into that phase. I know, remember when we were, I'm sorry, I have to bring this up. Remember when we were together the last time, which is not that long ago. Again, I'll go back to that reunion. Weren't you supposed to study in the U.S. for a while? I was supposed, I was what supposed happened? to study... Ngayon, um, this was the time around? Oh, yeah, I, was supposed, to, I oh. was supposed to go to Harvard Business School for a few days. Right, right. They took a course on uh, sports, media, and entertainment. Right. And after that, I was going to go to NYU right. for journalism. Right. Tapos, pupunta sana ako sa Tokyo Olympics. Olympics, I wanted to say that. Don. Gretchen Ho in the Olympics. Sana. Yeah, ang ganda sana nung, ano, no, nung, nung run. Tuloy-tuloy sana, wala na cancel at, Pero... Um, ang ginawa ko na lang, lahat ng mga plano ko after that, uh, my education, inangat ko, and I'm doing it now. So you have to adjust really to the times. Um, I feel like I've been called to step up. That's why I launched that Beautiful. website, Yung Woman in Action. Mm-hmm. Um, sa totoo lang, no? Eh, noong una, wala naman ako talagang masyadong plan na magsulat. Mm-hmm. Pero I stumbled upon it. And I realize it's an empowering craft. And this is because you writing, get, all right? Let's let's make this it, it's clear. It's really me. Yeah. It's me. It's me. It's me. And I just have uh, my friend edit it. Right. And, and go through it. But it's really me. Uh, I try to, you know, I have two parts. Don, I have a column that my own thoughts. Ko. And then the other part is me featuring the stories of other people. Correct. Uh, and positive and news, good news, also, happy news. Uh, there's also a section on my website where people can write their own stories right. and have it published on my website. So, um, hindi lang siya limited to happy news. It's anything that you want to write because I know that uh, times now are tough. And I found that writing down things helps in coping. So, kung may mga experience kaya dyan, or you, you, you've seen anybody inspiring, doing something... Uh, really crafty or creative during this time. Please right, feel right. free to share it. And I can also do a feature in it on TV Patrol and uh, my social media websites. Yung social media ko, dinedicate ko siya to helping people find light in this crisis. Parang lahat ng pinapost ko with that intent in mind. Oh, yes. Na yung good news talaga yung pinapost ko kung mm-hmm. maaari. Kasi sobrang dark and a lot of people are actually stuck oh, no. with their mental health. So, mm-hmm. uh, yun, yun yung mission ko ngayon with uh, my Woman in Action website. Aba. Okay, we're, we're losing you, Gretch, for a while. Okay, we're talking to Gretchen Ho. For those of you who are listening to us on radio right now, we have our last few minutes with her, actually. So, it's unfortunate. We, I think we uh, we lost her. Okay. YouTube Hello? Sorry, Gretch. I think I lost you for a second. Hello? Are you back? Hello? Are you back with us? Yeah? Hello? I'm here. Okay. Little bit. Little bit. You're, it's all right. They're probably all watching you and listening to you. That's why yeah, Gretchen Ho is breaking up right now with us. But uh, uh, you're listening. Okay. Okay. I'll move again. Yes, please. So we can wrap it up. I don't want to waste your time anymore. Um, Hello? Okay. I, I think I hear you now better. Okay. But you are frozen a little bit in your video. Uh, talking to Gretchen Ho, our woman in action. We have been chatting with her since 2 p.m., uh, telling telling all of us about her life, her career, how she started and all that and everything that she's been going through. Um, let's see if we have her back. We're listening through Magic 89.9. This is the chat room. My name is Better. Boom. Yes, I think we have you back. Do we have you back? Are you good? Just as we are 
wrapping up, I re really wanted to ask one last question before Gretchen Ho leaves this chat room. Uh, we'll have more guests coming up. Um, some, some of them are, we would like to think, are unlikely in the sense that uh, uh, we would never think that they would allow uh, a conversation, an interview, or whatever. But we want to thank Gretchen Ho here, who has been very, very generous with her time and uh, also concocted. Uh, I'm here! Oh, there we go. Are you back? We will be uh, post posting this interview anyway. Uh, again, on Magic 89.9 .9 on uh, YouTube channel and uh, Facebook. Are you back with us, Gretch? I know you're eating. You're having your margarita. I can hear her. I can hear her munch. <laughs> All right, anyway, like I said, we're going to have more guests here in the chat room. We will make the announcements on social media platforms of Magic 89.9, who's coming up and uh, who are we going to be talking to and uh, some people who are very, uh, one of the guests that we're hoping would say yes and actually kind of said a half yes already. Very interesting because she's never been interviewed before, ever. And she is in the business of interviewing people. That that's a little bit of a clue of uh, of uh, upcoming guest on the chat room. We will announce when she is uh, somebody who has done a ton of very important interviews from different fields, people, personalities from different fields. Okay, I think Gretchen who is back with us. Let's just wrap it up. Gretchen, are you back? Hi, Gretch. Are you back? Yes. I'm back. So sorry. It's okay. All right. One last question. Can I ask one last question before you leave the chat room? If we can get through the question. Okay, this, I think the, uh, yeah, I think uh, your connection is right now. Very, very spotty right now, Gretch. Sorry, sorry. For those listening on radio and on the road or at home, we apologize. This is uh, part of a live show. This is not an edited program. So it's a live FB show on Magic 89.9 and on radio. So I think we just lost Gretchen again. We have we have not been able to get her back. But I was saying, yeah, that um, one of the future guests that we are trying to convince to go with us here on the chat room is uh, somebody who has interviewed a ton of people in in maybe a couple of decades already, um, and very very important people. And we're hoping she says yes. Well, that's the clue right there. Um, and uh, she has never been interviewed uh, ever before with probably a hundred interviews under her belt. It's somebody who has never been interviewed ever before, especially on FM radio or on, on Facebook, especially on Facebook. That's for sure. She already said. So if she's listening right now, <laughs> I'm hoping she says yes to this. Um, I don't know if we can get Gretchen Ho back. I know she's going to try, but we uh, we will try that. But we want to thank her for her time. We want to thank all the listeners also and everybody watching um, on our Magic 89.9 Facebook. I hope you guys are safe and well. And if we don't, if we are not able to get Gretchen Ho back on the air, we want to thank her. We want to at least address it publicly and say uh, we want to thank her for spending some time with us today. It was a great inside look on uh, on uh, maybe a little bit of a retrospective of her career and uh, she shared a lot of things from also from a personal standpoint a lot of uh, advice for people who want to get into what she, whatever it is that she's into and uh, just uh, you know um, a nice uh, side of her that probably we've never heard or we've never seen before so we want to thank Gretchen Ho who officially maybe not by her choice has left the Magic 89.9 chat room my name is boom a uh, standby in uh 45 minutes the boys happy hour will be in and it's going to be a very interesting show especially i know they're already having a few afternoon cocktails in the office gino sam slick tony and uh the love survivor jojo is also uh there my name is boom thank you very much for watching for those of you who are watching and for those of you who are listening on radio Maraming salamat and we'll see you next time for another edition of the Magic 89.9 chat room.